Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy ZotofHD and welcome to episode 2 of creating a Discord bot. In this episode, uh, it will be less time lapsey and more just showing uh, the additions I made since the last episode because there were quite a few. I actually made the code much more efficient and less laggy on the Google server, which actually led to Google disconnecting the API from, from my code because it recognized me as a possible dangerous bot or something similar to that because I was asking for too many requests so I chose to go with a different route and that's what I'll be talking about today so the first new thing you'll definitely see is this new function which is reconnect so instead of it just connecting on uh, on its own like this and just connecting once it now reconnects every hour this is on also the best way to write a reconnect function however it works because the other way you do is client two dot login but for some reason my bot because okay so my bot runs on a server and for some reason the server doesn't like me using dot login but for you dot login should work so let's say i had this here and that connected me during the to the server during the during whatever the code or whatever i could just go client to dot login and that would actually work and it'll reconnect it for some reason the host that i used to host my bot doesn't like that so i just ignored it and instead just put this all into uh, the reconnect function and just had it run the function at the start uh, i kept all that the same and then here is where the major difference happens instead of your code the code constantly grabbing information from the server and taking it back to the code it actually calls it once at the start and then you can refresh it later on which i'll get to as well so at the start it asks for data and it goes sheet dot get all records and that just takes everything and puts it into a dictionary and this is here uh, here i then have my output data which will be the phrases for everything which you'll also see a way in which i made the code slightly more efficient this also allows the code to be modu uh, modular i can just add comma here and then add whatever i want and that is if i add that to my actual spreadsheet that will, help, that will mean that if we decide on my server to make our application process a lot more complicated which we probably will because this is very basic it will be much easier to implement and this is the input data this is for the dictionary so this is the names inside the dictionary that we will be calling so if we want the name of the person we will go name of the dictionary for example data uh, one and then name something like that depending on what we're looking for and then this uh, then this here globalizes it because all of this is in function we make sure that the functions refer to the right variables which are the variables we define here so we globalize them so that the re uh, so that they can be seen in the function so the first function you can see already is the refresh function which is something i spoke about at the start with the reconnect the refresh not only does it reconnect to the server if it's been past an hour which is the time that usually Google kicks you off their server. It's around an hour is when they go, yep, you had enough time on our server, now go away. And this just makes sure that if it passes 60 minutes, it will reconnect and it will restart the timer. And then as you can see here, refresh, it is very simple. All it does, it gets all records again and it adds them to data. And again, we use global to uh, throw out data, throw out get time and time so that the rest of the code knows that the variables have been updated and uses the updated variables instead of uh, any others because we're obviously we're not using that return function uh, a return at the end here saying return data because uh, we're using a discord bot and that wouldn't really work very well so instead we're doing global and global is also quite easy to use uh, now you see the major difference when it comes to looking for something this is actually the final one of the final parts that I added in so now instead of it um, it going and asking for individual uh, columns in the data actually goes for individual parts in the dictionary. So the first thing it will get is um, it will get the 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 data and it will be this would usually start at zero. So it will start at zero, which is the first column, and it will ask for its name. If that name uh, for, uh, is the same as the argument, which is uh, what you enter here for app, you'll do app and then the name of the person. And if the name of the person is the same as the column found, it will return uh, uh, the application, which I put in a for loop using the output data that we defined earlier and the input data we defined earlier, which makes uh, which I will show you in Discord as well, which makes it much more efficient. So if we open up Discord and go for here, we type in app and we're going to use my, my test application as a test. As you can see, it looks for the application. This takes a second because uh, because of the connection to Discord. And as you can see, my entire thing is printed in multiple lines without me 
actually having to print each of those lines individually, all all this loop did everything for me, which is much more efficient and just generally smarter to write, which I did mention in the first part when I wrote the more inefficient way. Uh, and I apologize for making it look very ugly. Uh, and the main reason I use uh, data dot get all data is like I said in the start, Google only I think allows per user a hundred requests per one hundred uh, per like sixty seconds or per however many seconds, which sounds like a lot. But when the code keeps grabbing data constantly twenty four seven, it actually runs out pretty quickly, which I found out after getting multiple multiple errors which it was just long but yeah and then we have recent here which follows the same exact pattern so if we go to recent in discord i believe this will show us nothing because there are no recent applications all the recent applications have been uh have been checked but one thing that i can show you is refresh if we type in refresh all our data is refreshed and we now have the newest database which is already the database we have because I haven't changed it or no one has changed it. And then the last one we obviously have done which I showed in the last episode and this one I actually haven't checked because this is this still needs to request live data from the sheets because there's as far as I know I haven't found a way to have it update uh, my data here and then send the data to Google but in my opinion that would just be as inefficient because this just sends one value instead of sending a whole dictionary. So this is actually the most, probably the most efficient way to do it. And also gets all records as soon as it does because obviously if you're updating something, you want your data to be now updated. So it actually does two requests to Google. So like I said, there's no more efficient way of doing this to be honest. And that's basically it for version 1.4. I didn't change it much else. Uh, I don't think I've changed much else. That's all I know that I changed. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I know that I changed something? But yeah, that's what I've changed. And if you think I can do something else in my code, maybe you want to give me a recommendation for something to do in my bot that I haven't done already and you think would be a cool feature, then sure, tell me in the uh, in the, in the comment section down below. And if you want me to do a more detailed tutorial on how I did some of these, then also make sure to tell me and I will because I haven't made the tutorial on Google API yet and the only reason I haven't done that is because I'm not an expert at it but I'm starting to understand it a lot more so I guess I could make one. But yeah, my name is Adrigi, make sure to leave, and li uh, leave a like and subscribe if you can, it would be very nice, I'd really appreciate it and I'm out, goodbye.